You know, one of the things uh, that when John Herstick set out and founded this company, we had a very clear mission. And that mission was to put the power of 3D on every engineer's desktop. And we've done a lot of work uh, to really reach that and deliver some great tools. Uh, clearly, I think we've done a decent job. This event's probably a testament to that. But our work is not done in this space. There's a lot of room for significant innovation and significant opportunity to solve more of your needs. We also see, at the same time, opportunities to help others in adjacent industries. We have customers who are actually designing entire buildings using SOLIDWORKS. That's right, a mechanical CAD tool being used for construction. So we had to spend some time with them to understand why and, and what are the reasons. And what we realized is the tools they have are, are really underserving the market. And we saw an opportunity for ourselves to help. So we did some research. We learned that while manufacturing productivity per employee is up significantly over the past 20 years, in the construction industry, it's actually down significantly over the same period of time. When we're talking to people, we learned this was because of fragmentation and poor collaboration between architects, engineers, owners, and clients. Again, this really gave us an, a vision and a reality of an opportunity. We saw an opportunity to provide true 3D and collaboration tools for the construction industry, just like we did in 1995 for this industry. So we took the idea to Bernard, because this is an important step, a step to, to do something new adjacent to what we do. We were a little worried about what he was going to say, but quite frankly, Bernard was very excited by this opportunity. And he pledged the full support of DS Resources to make this happen. Today, I'm very thrilled to introduce our first offering from SOLIDWORKS for the construction industry. It's called SOLIDWORKS Live Buildings. It's an easy to use tool for the conceptual process and planning and early cost estimation in the construction industry. It's going to allow people to collaborate with team members online and early in the process. It's a true 3D tool for this industry with the benefits that you enjoy applied to the construction space. And it's going to complement many of the existing tools that exist in the industry today. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is not just SOLIDWORKS with new features put on top of it. This is a new application. It's built for online. It's built to support owners in their decisions about their property, both long-term and short-term around cost, whether they should rent, renovate, or build a new building, and things around site selection as well. It has functional concepts that will differentiate it, such as walls or walls, spaces or spaces, stairs, columns, and curtain walls. The focus is for buildings and planners. And it's going to allow them to communicate better than ever with their clients and their teams, and most importantly, win business. Instead of talking about it, I'm going to bring up Neil Cook, our manager of product marketing, to give you a look at SOLIDWORKS Live Buildings. Neil, come on up. OK. Let's see if I can apply my SOLIDWORKS skills to the construction industry. Now, what better way to introduce SOLIDWORKS Live Building than to take a look at the new DS campus in Waltham, Massachusetts. All the DS companies in this, in this area will be, use, will be moving into this office building in the summer. And this is pretty much how the building looks at the moment, empty. So let's go ahead and add some, concept, um, some content. We'll go ahead and use this live section tool down the right, which is organized by floors. It makes it very easy to dive into the building to start adding our content. Now, it's typical of planners to design a floor plan in 2D. This particular design was actually designed in DraftSite. So we can take the DWG file and overlay that into our 3D design. It makes it easy to use it as a guide to add content, such as walls and stairwells. Speaking of stairs, let's go ahead and add one in. You can see it snaps to the floor and brings on a triad very similar to the one that you find in SOLIDWORKS. So you can move it across and snap it up against the wall. And this content is intelligent as well, so it'll add a hole in the floor above. Now, we know that not many of our customers actually design buildings themselves, but many of you design content that goes into buildings, such as furniture and plumbing and air conditioning. So what we've done is make it easy to, for you to share your content with the building planners. So let's go ahead and search for some content online. 
and it's going to give me a number of items that we're going to use within this building. So we'll take a look at the cubicle and just drag and drop that onto, into the floor space. It uses a concept similar to SmartMate, so it knows exactly where it's supposed to go. And if we want to make a copy of that, we'll simply use the triad, as we saw previously, and just drag it over to the left. So you can see very quick, very easy, a very nice conceptual tool for designing office space. And we can always use, also use the concept of patterns to, uh, to update this design as well. OK, starting to good, look good here. We can see we've got a nice uh, layout of cubicles on the, on the building. What we don't have is any office space. So let's go ahead and add some of those for the execs. OK, if you want to add an office, just go down to a very simplified user interface at the bottom. Just uh, pick a rectangle. And we're just going to draw the space up against this, this wall here. Now, because we're based on the V6 online platform, it makes it very easy to collaborate with customers and suppliers. There's a very handy little chat section at the bottom there where you can, where you can work with, uh, with your customers. Apparently, there's a new CEO in town, and he wants a bigger office. So let's go ahead and make some, make some changes to that. We can take the, the whole office and just pick it up and just drag it across. Is that big enough, Patron? No? OK. OK, well, we see we've got an open conference space there. Perhaps we'll steal some of that. So we'll go ahead and resize this. Just, pick up, just uh, go ahead and uh, pick a wall. And again, using the triad, we'll just drag it out. SolarWorks Live Builders understands the difference between interior, interior walls, exterior walls, curtain walls. So you see it automatically trims itself back. And if we can either delete that wall or just drag it over there to, to finish our design. Now, of course, we now need to add an office for the trans assistant, Trina. So we'll just go ahead and just drag and copy, uh, create a new building, sorry, a new, a new office right next to these, right next to the trans. And as before, we can just take that and we just use the triad and we'll copy and paste that over to the left. Perhaps uh, take a, make a build, a, uh, an office for Fielder. And, a, and if we pattern it, perhaps I'll take one of those myself as well. <laughs> okay, but. I know that Trina won't be really very happy with uh, an, of an office that doesn't have a window. So we'll go ahead and, and steal some of Bertrand's space, and we'll just go ahead and just draw lines. We can use lines, arcs, any particular shape you want to create an office space, so you're not limited to your designs. OK, so looking pretty good. Finally, the content we'll add is just going to add in a door. It uses the smart mates that we saw previously to snap them into place. But being a door, it also behaves like a smart component. It knows that it needs to cut a hole out in the wall. So when we drop it into place, you can see that's done for us. OK. So you can see in a matter of moments, we've created five office spaces. And if I'm a building planner, then I need to get information just like floor, like floor space and quantity takeoff. And this information is available at the push, of but, uh, the push of a button. OK. We might also want to do some more, more analysis as well. So for example, we might be interested in uh, energy usage. So at this time of year, we might want to be interested in how much lighting and how much heating we need in this design. So we can do a solar study. So we put in the coordinates of the location in Waltham, Massachusetts, and we can see just by moving this slider, we can see where the sun goes and how the shadows appear. So we can see sun up is around about 7 AM. And as we move the slider over, we can see the shadows move across the building until we get to the evening sunset around about 5 PM. OK, so you see SolidWorks Live Building, a fantastic new tool for designing buildings in 3D and collaborating with customers and suppliers. Feel that. Great, Neil. Thanks a lot. I want to have my office moved a little further away. We'll talk about that later. Um, no, this is exciting. This is a, a great new online offering for us. And we really want to take what we've been able to do at SolidWorks of, of simplifying the complex and really apply it to a new industry and hopefully transform that industry as well. We're very excited about the opportunity we have. We have a lot to learn, quite frankly, and it's going to be a journey. We have many questions that we're going to work with the community out there to answer, but we're very, very excited. We expect the SolidWorks Live Building product to be available later this year, and there'll be more to come. 